Five all again. Today we are going to see how we can add host and delete host using script. There are situation where you need to add multiple host and delete them at the same time or uh, as per the requirement. You can use scripts for your work instead of doing manual adding the host or deleting the host. You can use the scripts for that. So if you see on my screen, I have uh, listed uh, two scripts, one for your add host and one for your delete hosts. So how you need to prepare for these things? First, uh, you need to create one CSV file. And in that CSV file, if you want to add your different host, you can give, uh, this is the nature. I mean the nomic nature you have to give name IP address color tags these two fields are not mandatory but these two fields are very important name and IP address so here uh, you give your name of your host host one two three four five or whatever the naming convention you have and their IP addresses and if you like to give the colors you can give it Uh, please note down this is the actual uh, the uh, format you need to use name IP address colors and tags and then for deleting the host you have to use simple name you don't have to give the rest of the fields and the host name as you can see on the screen now I just wanted to show you uh the scripts so to add a host there is a one liner script you need to use you can write it down this script or i can put you on a comment section if you like uh the script is simple you just have to give the your file name at the last and this is the syntax you need to copy to add the host all right and for deleting the host uh the script is little bit bigger than the normal i am going to pass this script on a chat i mean on the comment section so you can take it from there as well all right so let's jump into the boxes first thing you have to take a win sap of your management server so i'm just going to take a win sap of the management server which is 254 Give it the IP address and the password. Let's log in. All right. Then you need to go to uh, the people preferred location, which we generally use logs, val logs. And here, if you like, you can create a one file and you can put these details inside that so let me see how i can add new break here okay, i'm just giving it as a say fw okay fwg power again and let's take this uh details uh sorry these files copied into the this location scripts as well okay now just go to your management server from the party session whatever we call putty putty and now from here okay this will be bigger this will be better i'm just going to into that okay 
I'm into the expert mode. Let me go to the location where log and firewall can directory. Okay, the file uh, FG no such file directory. Okay, let me see why is it doing that. So we have just created one directory called FW G it's not reflecting here. Okay. Let me go back to the WCP. What is the path? It's showing me where well, I'm there and then the log. Okay. If I can let's go to the root again. Let me create. Let me go to the where for now. I'm creating one uh, directory here only. WG. Let's say okay. Here I'll be copy pasting these details. I mean these files. And yes. Let's go back to your where the repository it's where. Let me clear the screen. Let me see if I can go to this directory. So if you see, I am into this uh, FWG directory and these files are present here. So from here you need to run script. So the command for that is very simple. But before that you need to give the permission uh, to this files or the script to run as executable. So what we're going to do, we'll do change mode and we'll give you execute permission to files like uh, add host right and similarly we'll give the executable permission for delete host so okay the permission has been given now let's run you can run with the this thing i mean like this or you can give simply the bash name and the file name which you want to run so i'm just going add host fail to establish it to the local communication okay so look like there is some issue to communicate with my sms but this is how you usually you know add uh things like uh, files with the ip addresses like uh, the way i have shown so let me end this video here because i wanted to establish the communication with my uh, sms and then i have to come back here and you know show you this thing I think MDS stat MDS stat MDS statistics. Yeah, look like that uh, communication between the SMS and the MDS is lost. That's why it's not getting accepted. So guys, I'll I'll meet you in the next video. Uh, will be run these commands but keep in mind these are the steps how you can run and execute your scripts thanks for watching this video and i have a wonderful day bye bye